Breaking overnight, President-elect Joe Biden has announced a string of top appointees who could dramatically change the government's response to the coronavirus pandemic. Nicole Killian is covering the transition. She's in Wilmington, Delaware, with more on this story. Nicole, good morning to you. Who was on the Biden's team of health advisors? Well, Gail, there are several notable picks here, including the president-elect's choice to lead the Department of Health and Human Services, California Attorney General Javier Becerra. As HHS Secretary, Becerra would oversee the coronavirus response and a budget totaling more than a trillion dollars. If confirmed, he would be the first Latino to fill the role. Becerra doesn't have a public health background, but has been a staunch defender of the Affordable Care Act. And prior to his time as California's top lawyer. He helped shepherd it through the House as a congressman. Mr. Biden revealed his choice to lead the CDC as well. Dr. Rochelle Walensky, a Harvard Medical School professor and the chief of infectious diseases at Massachusetts General Hospital. The president-elect selected Dr. Vivek Murthy to reprise his former role as U.S. Surgeon General. He's already on Biden's COVID advisory board. And of course, Dr. Anthony Fauci will serve as the president-elect's chief medical advisor. Now, CBS News has also exclusively learned that the president-elect is announcing new co-chairs for his presidential inaugural committee this morning. It will be led by House Majority Whip Jim Clyburn, along with two other congressional members, Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer and Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti. Tony. All right, Nicole, thank you very much. The